7.30 in the morning and you can see the sun rising right up behind me. This is pretty early on, on a Sunday morning. And if I turn around, you'll see a lot of cars here already. And that's because there's a Sunday morning car meet going on. And I'm at Lasanne Avenue, which is kind of like a community mall, not far from where I live. So that's one reason why I needed to get up on a Sunday morning, pretty early, hang out in the early morning sunlight, check out cars, not far from where I live. And then too, there's a bunch of cars that come up from Singapore, 2,000 kilometers, and they're coming up here and they're gonna hang out this morning. So I'm gonna check out their rides, what's going on with those cars. And already there's some right, good quality of cars here, some pretty decent stuff are coming in. That is a pretty nice FD. Anyway, I'm gonna try and wake myself up show you what's going on here because there's some pretty nice stuff here already these evos in fact a row of one two three four five evos looking good so it's off to a good start this place so let's hit into this you would expect with a meet like this there's going to be lowered cars and that jazz is as low as it is going i can get my fingers just about underneath the splitter and then right next door we got this Civic that has got an autographed bonnet. And in amongst all the modified JDM cars, we got this Triumph. Looks absolutely immaculate. And I like this green, this kind of like metallic light green they put on it. That is really, really nice. It's got a brown leather interior, beautifully done inside. That is something a little bit special and definitely that can really hold its own amongst all the JDM. So the next thing I need to do before this all gets going too much is head to the coffee shop. So I need to fire myself up and get myself woken up for this very early morning meet. And I've been here before, this coffee shop is not bad. So I'm fueled with coffee and it's back to the cars. Origin 65, uh, we're from Singapore. We're actually a group of car enthusiasts that uh, enjoy road trips. So um, we are on a southbound trip now back, but previously we were driving from Singapore, then to Hat Jai, then to Bangkok, to Chiang Mai, then to Mae Son. So we're back from Mae Son to Chiang Mai to Bangkok now, we're making a R&R &R stop. So yeah, we have a few M3s that we have driven up, uh, one E93, one E92, and an E90. Then we have a Civic and a WRX. So, and there's actually a Type R that came along together. So there is a total of um, six cars that came along. We had a lot of fun, a lot of uh, experiences, meet different people of the same hobby. This Camry is pretty nice. It's got like a par wrap onto the very stock Repmobile grey and it works pretty well and it's right down on air again we've got the wheel touching the arch nowadays you drop your car there can't be a gap even half a millimeter anymore and these rotty forms look pretty nice and big discs and bells behind it this is one of the kind of the harder generations to really make like a nice modified car and this one's not too overboard. He's kind of got it right in the sweet spot without going crazy. And I like this skirt that looks very custom made for the car as well. That seems to work quite well. And not too crazy a boot spoiler. That looks quite nice. What I keep coming back to in videos in the last six months, the last year really, is people wrapping this generation of Corolla into like a racing style livery. And I like them all. I think they're doing a really good job and they're really kind of hitting the nail on the head. And these cars, they're not really that well loved in Thailand. They're not those 90s JDM icons. They're kind of a little bit later and they slip through the net. They're not old enough to be classics. But these guys have started a trend now. 
and they look good and it kind of transforms the car and there's not a lot of work being done to this cosmetically I have no idea what's on the bonnet I don't want to offend anyone here but anyway I mean it's got a really nice paint job and I like this kind of like metallic turquoise blue I just put a lip spoiler on it but just putting these decals on it giving them that feel that racing feel really nice and also what they all do is drop wheels on that are kind of like racing style in white p1 wheels here and these big dunlops put on the side of the car again dunlop is a tire of that era and i like this trend there's more and more of these cars turning up and they kind of formed into a group promote themselves gathering a lot of momentum so i think you'll see a lot more of these because it's a very cheap base to start from just look at the tailgate spoiler on this ek comb past me that is full on and then there is a really nice legacy rocking in here as well kind of nice to see these fairly unusual here and fairly unusual to see in such a nice finish if you watch my videos you know i got a bit of a weakness for a31s there's just something about them they're big they're kind of they're a bit bland they're a bit strange styling but you can do a lot it's a great value for money package because you're getting a great chassis again a great engine you can do anything with these cars you can race them you can drift them you can do drag do anything you want with these cars so it's nice that there's three this morning and these three i don't know these cars but they actually look pretty good i kind of like these cheeky standout red mirrors on it and if you look on the back ends here the fitment of these tires to the wheel arch that must be sticking out three to four centimeters looks great ssr wheels 17 inch pretty nice and then we've got one here that's a little bit more rough and ready but that has got a big cooler jammed in the front and then the third one the quality is really nice the kit on this the finish is very well done that really stands out i like this replacement grill and these slats in here that is really nice quality and sephiros you don't always see a fantastic quality finish but with white racing style wheels and again we have got another fitment going here where it doesn't match the wheel arch that looks pretty good I normally i'd be pretty surprised to see an orion in a car park at a car meet in thailand but i actually saw this a few months ago so i'm not that surprised but it's nice to kind of see it in the morning light this is a facelift like a cosmetic an upgrade the toyota did so let's face it a car that doesn't stand out very well but they didn't bring them into thailand so it's pretty rare nice to see it though and it is quite a nice kit and i think at the time it looked good and in fact it stood up pretty well so it's something pretty unique a little bit different to bring this morning and on the rotty forms that's quite nice and in fact i'm pretty sure i saw it at the psm refresh meet that rings the bell now and you can see it's got orion badging on it right next to this orion something else is a little bit unusual a legacy all-wheel drive turbo legacy car they don't see a lot of here to be honest the Impreza is the go-to but this one has its place in history see a few around but not very many and this one is very very clean and pretty stock as well pretty nice and original apart from the wheels or at least visually stock I have no idea what he's done under the bonnet speed lines as well so you kind of got the whole rally vibe going on and on the back here you can see we've got the legacy turbo all-wheel drive decal going there Subaru legacy Thailand so clearly this is a guy who's passionate about this model this Chevrolet it's pretty nicely done but what's unusual apart from the fact that people don't usually modify these cars this is modified it's down on air and if we go around the back it's actually the wagon and it's badged as a Lassetti as well which is not a name used in the Thai market and this badging actually looks quite original so maybe this car has got an interesting story to it and also I like this brake light I've never really noticed 
the wagon version at all of these but I like this high level brake light the way it's been done in here this guy here he is chasing weight reduction to the max all these cutouts the bumper is about ready to disintegrate and in fact it reminds me a little bit of a child's game like connect four or something like that where you feel like you've got to put pieces in the dots if he's stuck in a traffic jam in bangkok he can probably make himself a game to pass the time away and he's really going for like the enzo ferrari f40 thing here by getting the paint off as well so this boy is really hitting the weight reduction actually i shouldn't say i don't know all these cars because i do know the owner of this car and this rb26 turbo in here it's been to quite a few of the a31 meets which you find on my videos in fact i think i've got a whole playlist of a31s so yeah i remember this car it comes back to me but eight in the morning kind of forget these things now we have a brz that looks very familiar good morning Kone. at a morning jdm meet in thailand you always get interesting stuff this mitsubishi space runner is pretty unique and what i like is like there's all the go-to stuff that people want to buy like evos like skylines like civics that kind of thing but people will also go for odd and quirky stuff and that is as odd and as quirky and as unusual as it gets. It is actually not just six cars that have done this for 5,000 km trip so far. They actually missed out that this bike has come on the trip. And you can see on the back here, he's got the event sticker here and he's got the OO as well. And go around the side where got a bit more room you can see that that is absolutely hardcore to ride this from singapore up to my hon son do the roads around there back here then to Pattaya, back then to krabi then down to singapore that is absolutely hardcore and while i'm talking hardcore as well chris i caught him before i said what honda have you driven here and he said no come down from la Prau on a Vespa. I showed you the main group of five of the six cars and the touring bike that come up from Singapore. This is the sixth member, although he's got number four on here, and this is an FD. This is the oldest member of the group, and he has come rocking up on a four or five thousand kilometer journey so far on this FD. And it really looks, with all these stone chips here, looks like it's had a hard journey and probably a hardish life. In fact, these days, I am never quite sure when I see this effect on a car, whether it's been wrapped onto the car or it's actually real. But these feel pretty real. So this has done a fair bit of journey. The next FD to look at is this one here. And it's got the Ings Plus One Sport Kit from Japan and this is a pretty race focused kit you can see on the front here the whole spoiler bumper everything is an integrated one piece and it's got dive plates on it as well in carbon fiber and I kind of like this off-white cream color as well looks quite stylish quite prestigious on the bonnet we've got a lot of air exits going on and if we look down the side he's got raised wheels with brembo calipers see what size they are 18 inch 235 40 tires that's pretty low that is running really low as well it's got a big skirt down the side and it's got these sections in the door which give it a lot stronger racing feel and i like the ings plus one sticker down the side and then on the back it got a big carbon fiber wing carbon fiber mounts and brackets the whole thing so this is kind of very race focused very full-on fd and quite a rare kit to find in thailand so to tell us what is going on what this event is about this morning is captain here and in fact he has driven up from singapore with the guys we met before what this meeting is here all about so over to you mate tell us what's going on this morning all right, so we are now at the Lausanne Avenue. So we hosting um, the event called Sunday Club, which is like the, the morning coffee types of meetings.
This is pretty much a JDM meet. There are three European cars I've seen this morning. That big VW Transporter I showed you earlier. This Triumph I showed you earlier. And then this Mercedes DTM replica. And I need to talk about that a little bit more because it's the first time I have seen it wrapped up in the DTM colors. The owner built this maybe a year, year and a half ago. Beautiful quality job, looks fantastic. And in bright yellow, it looked incredible. And it's been to a lot of car shows, a lot of car meets. But in my videos, I have said a few times, this really needs finishing off with the Promark livery on it and the Peacock computer, the shell, the Bosch, all those details. It really needed that to finish it off. And now it's done that, and it's done that quite recently, and I've seen a few pictures on the internet of it done, but I haven't seen it in the flesh. And I am glad to see this today. It looks fantastic. Absolutely period correct here, with the Decra, the number in the same style, all the sponsors, absolutely bang on. And what's quite interesting, is the camber on the back end as well. There's quite a lot of camber going on there. It's very noticeable when you stand away from it a little bit. Really, really nice. The owner said he hadn't tried to go for the camber, but when he set it up, that's where it was sitting. Really, really nice. It is running on pretty much slick tires here. I can feel the smallest of grooves here, but he is running on slicks. And the rear wing, two layer wing, carbon fiber end plates, really DTM style off the era really like this all these details the air exit coming out behind the wheel here again that camber and these wheels on it and the cockpit is stripped out with a cage racing style that is really really nice and this in livery has just completely finished it off perfectly definitely the loudest car of the morning is this civic in an app absolutely shocking pink and it's got some neat details it's got forged carbon style grill surround and he's dropped the honda badge right down in the middle of the bumper i've not seen that before but it looks quite good and it's got a whole big one piece bumper and spoiler with a big mesh going on there that is really really loud and he's got more forged carbon details here forged carbon door mirror forged carbon B pillar trims he's even got forged carbon where he's deleted the radio aerial which is a detail from the 90s around the back again this looks really really loud this is something very rare as well this is Ernst BRZ with an LFA kit on it I saw this a couple of years ago at the 86 day at the dealer on Bang Na Dad, and I was quite impressed by the car. This kit is very, very rare. With the BRZ, with the 86, there's a lot of kits on the market because it's a cost-effective car. People buy them, then they want to dress them up. But this kit is really rare. I think it's the only one in Thailand, and it gives it that kind of whole LFA look. Very, very nice. It's got some nice details on it. You can see the vents, you can see the Lexus badge on the front. Still got the BRZ in the headlights, gives it away a little bit. It's got a racing towing eye in it. And down here, I like this kind of aero effect here. Comes out a little bit of Super GT, bit of Japanese history going on there. He hasn't stopped just at the kit. It's got 18 inch NK wheels. It's got big, massive four part calipers, vented discs and bells going on there. So the whole braking setup and the ride height has all been adjusted to go with this kit. I come back over here and the other two A31s have dropped the bonnet up and look at that engine bay there, absolutely beautiful. And I'll just go and show you this red one where I said the quality outside was incredible. The engine bay is absolutely amazing. They are definitely two of the best A31 engine bays you're gonna see in Thailand. We've got a few of the JDM legends here. There's an R35 before, and this R33 in a Nismo kit looks absolutely fantastic. That is a nice addition to this meet. This Accord here, which I saw at Honda Fest at Nong Nooch a month or so ago, really nicely done. But with Accord, I don't think you need to do a lot to them. And this one is really nice. He's kind of dropped it down. He's put wheels on it. 
put a lip spoiler on and that is really all you need to do to transform them completely into something that sits on the road and looks visually really nice and he's also put these rubber strips on kind of what the old folks used to buy years ago so that's like an addition accessory that you put on the corner of a car so you don't rub gate posts usually for the over 75 year old something like that but it gives it like a nice effect and it gives that detail effect and says that as a guy who knows cars so another european car here is this volvo v60 and this looks pretty crazy it is jacked right down on air look at that the tire has disappeared into the arch and these wheels i don't even know what brand they are 20 inch rims it's on michelin pilot sport cup 2 so that's a top tire he's looking for road performance but these are crazy the rim has got like a split front on it and it's got this like finisher on top of it looks crazy it's got big massive brembos got cross drill discs and big bells there's so much going on and it's not what you expect to see on a v60